रजिस्ट नाउ हेलो माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू येट एन अदर सेशन in our brand new series bio bites in 15 minutes and today we are going to talk about yet another life process which is excretion again part of cbse class 10 syllabus this is amrika your biology master teacher right here at vedantu okay guys so let's directly get started as you know we intend to keep this series as short and crisp as possible so this is a positive quote for you to think about the best dreams happen when you are awake okay a dream is something that actually doesn't let you sleep and not really uh, what you see in sleep as many great men have said all right and let's get started with the process of excretion of course uh, as far as living organisms are concerned metabolism keeps happening continuously build up of some substances or breakdown of substances keeps happening build up of substances is what we call anabolism and breakdown is what we call catabolism but in general we call them metabolic reactions the metabolic reactions generally lead to the production of by products or waste materials as we can call them so most living organisms have got their own methods by which these waste materials can be released from the body of those organisms so what exactly is it like now the complexity of excretory systems would depend upon the complexity of the organism itself for example in an organism as simple as amoeba excretory system is very very simple it occurs uh, by simple diffusion from it's a unicellular organism of course it doesn't have any specialized organs like we do rather through simple diffusion the process of elimination of waste matter just happens whereas in complex organisms like human beings or most other living organisms uh, around us plants and animals excretion occurs through specialized organs or structures okay let us now understand more about excretory organs in human beings of course uh, the primary excretory organs in human beings we know are the kidneys the urinary system as we call it right whereas there are also accessory excretory organs in our body which are lungs skin and liver okay lungs uh, which are organs which help in the elimination of carbon dioxide and some amount of water skin which helps in the elimination of water uh, salts and some urea up to a certain extent liver which helps in the elimination of ammonia up to an extent okay but then we know that the primary excretory product in human beings is what we call in the form of urine and that is made by our specialized organ organs which are the kidneys okay and let us look at the organ system which is our excretory system now so going deeper into excretion in humans of course plants will also follow after this let's get started with excretion in humans of course as you know human beings have a pair of bean shaped structures which we call kidneys okay this is one kidney which i have marked we have two such kidneys normally in a healthy individual there is a pair of kidneys located in the abdominal cavity and from there there is a pair of tubular structures which we call ureters okay i'm writing only the singular because i'm marking only one of them the ureters what they do is they empty the urine which is coming out from the kidneys which is being produced in the kidneys the urine passes through the ureters gets filled in to the urinary bladder okay the urinary bladder and eventually when the urinary bladder is full it gets the urine gets eliminated out of the human body through the part which is called urethra okay and as you can see so these are the four major parts of our excretory system uh, our primary excretory system and in addition to this you also know that there is a set of dedicated blood vessels which help in it um, these are the renal artery okay this is the renal artery which brings in blood from your heart to the kidneys and this is the blood from which uh, filtration happens and ultimately all the useful substances from that blood get reabsorbed into the body and the waste matter gets eliminated in the form of urine okay and then renal vein which is the blood vessel that leaves the kidneys and returns the uh, deoxygenated blood back into your heart okay so renal artery and renal vein do remember always pulmonary 
relates to lungs and renal relates to kidneys gastro relates to your digestive system so many things like this okay so this is about your human excretory system let us now look at the structural and functional units of the kidneys which we call nephrons one individual nephron is said to be the structural and functional unit of the kidney they are really really tiny and there are about a million new nephrons uh, in both our kidneys together okay so um, looking at the structure of one individual nephron it looks something like this there is a capsular structure here which we call the bowman's capsule okay the bowman's capsule inside which is a tuft a tuft of blood capillaries which we call glomerulus okay so it is into the glomerulus that the blood to be filtered comes in and between the glomerulus and the bowman's capsule exchange of materials as in not exactly exchange filtration uh, happens as the first step of urine formation and the substances which don't get uh, filtered into the bowman's capsule leave the glomerulus through another set of blood vessels okay so blood comes in joins into the glomerulus gets filtered in the bowman's capsule and the filtered part of it the filtrate passes into the bowman's capsule and the rest of it which did not get filtered passes out of the glomerulus okay and then comes the tubular parts of your nephron the first part which we call the proximal convoluted tubule and then the hairpin like structure which we call henle's loop or the loop of henle and the last part which we call the distal convoluted tubule and this is followed by a collecting duct in fact many nephrons join into the collecting duct join into a common collecting duct and many uh, collecting ducts or collecting tubules as we may also call them together empty the urine which has been formed in the nephrons to the deeper areas into the kidney okay let us also revise the steps in urine formation what exactly is the function of the nephron of course nephron is where urine formation happens there are three major steps to urine formation starting with glomerular filtration wherein as i have told you the blood which comes into the glomerulus gets filtered and the filtrate passes into the bowman's capsule the part which did not get filtered passes out of the glomerulus and joins the rest of the blood stream now this filtrate then enters into the proximal convoluted tubule this part that makes us enter into the second step of urine formation which is tubular reabsorption because once this filtrate is passing through the proximal convoluted tubule what happens is remember there is always a set of blood capillaries which run in parallel around your nephron so these blood capillaries what they do is from this filtrate which is now in the pct and the loop of henle and generally in the tubular parts of the nephron the blood capillaries surrounding the nephron they try and reabsorb whatever has been eliminated by mistake as in whatever is still useful to the body but just got eliminated along with the glomerular filtrate all those particles get reabsorbed in the step of tubular reabsorption and then after this reabsorption the last step which is called tubular secretion most of which happens in the dct wherein the blood capillaries surrounding the nephrons they add in some more unwanted substances which can get eliminated along with the urine this is what we call tubular secretion like drugs and a lot of other things which don't need to be absorbed into the body and don't need to be present any more in the body any longer in the body get eliminated into the distal convoluted tubule through tubular secretion remember glomerular filtration or ultra filtration tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion and now we can call it the urine which enters into the collecting duct now in the collecting duct reabsorption of water up to an extent occurs depending upon the water quantity inside the body uh, according to the needs of the individual reabsorption of water can occur in the collecting duct or the collecting tubule and then this urine passes on into the deeper areas of the kidney which we call the renal pelvis and from there of course into the ureter urinary bladder and ultimately gets excreted through the urethra these are the three major steps in the formation of urine very very important children okay so children let me remind you the detailed video is there as part of the main playlist do check it out in case you want to know more about this all right 
that is about human beings let's now come to excretion in plants okay plants also do have waste products um, as long as photosynthesis is concerned oxygen is said to be a by product we consider oxygen as a waste product of photosynthesis which gets eliminated through the stomata now as far as respiration is concerned carbon dioxide is a waste product so remember um, Pro, uh, photosynthesis and respiration are two independent processes as far as a plant is concerned carbon dioxide and oxygen are required in different processes one for photosynthesis one for respiration whereas the opposite happens when you consider them as by products or waste products okay so remember this as far as respiration is concerned just like human beings in plants also carbon dioxide is a waste product then excess water from the plant body just like human being sweat it out plants also they carry out transpiration through the leaves as an evaporation of the excess water through the stomata of the leaves this is also a method of excretion another fourth method is where resins and gums um uh, as in waste are stored in the form of resins and gums uh, in the old xylem or in the old vascular tissues in certain plants okay so even shedding of leaves all of these are also examples of um ways of excretion as far as a plant is concerned so remember photosynthesis oxygen respiration it's carbon dioxide which is the waste product um and uh, transpiration excess water resins and gums as far as many generally many old trees and plants are concerned and of course shedding of leaves or storage in the form of vacuoles these are also additional methods okay so i think it's now time to recap the entire thing in a bite size remember the body produces products and waste as a result of metabolic reactions secondly metabolic waste can be toxic to the body cells and as a result they have to get removed lower organisms can do it by simple me mechanisms such as by simple diffusion whereas complex organisms like us have got extensively elaborate systems to take care of this process okay remember children excretion is not elimination of undigested food okay that is ejection very very important misconception but you must know this okay that is ejection what happens through the anus and this is excretion okay human excretory system we know it's comprised of kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra each kidney has about 1 million nephrons which are functional units helping in the formation of urine okay then plants release oxygen carbon dioxide water gums resins and a lot of these stuff as waste material and eliminate them through different processes okay children so this is all about the life process excretion children do remember to know more about our pro subscription courses remember to visit the link in the description box below and check out the pinned comment as well remember also to apply the coupon code ambpro to get the best discounts the best benefits out there okay and children of course remember to click on the like button if you have found this useful please do share it children because this is a very short video everyone will definitely benefit from this please don't uh, think twice sharing definitely is caring right so share it with all your friends and subscribe stay subscribed to our channel vidantu 9th and 10th english because we have just got started with this brand new series we intend to do a lot more such creative things for different grades and different boards in the weeks and months to come so stay subscribed and also remember to follow me on my official instagram ambika_vidantu where you can just chill out and check out a lot of posts including even moral stories that keep coming up okay children so i would love to hear from you so don't forget to uh, leave your comments in the comment section below until we meet again take care stay happy and stay healthy this is ambika signing off bye bye